Well, hello everyone, it's Vapy Cat here, and welcome back to another episode of Elden Ring. On the last episode, we defeated the fire giant who was protecting the flame, and Melina sacrificed herself to the flame in order to burn the Erd tree. It was a really intense moment, and then afterward, we woke up in this like crumbling ruins area, which was a complete bitch to navigate. But I think we finally got ourselves somewhere and I'm expecting a boss pretty soon. So at the start of this episode, we are just gonna go straight towards whatever boss we are about to encounter and we are gonna pray that it's not gonna make me rage. I know that's a lot to ask for, but regardless, I'm excited to see what lies ahead. So all that being said, let's just jump into it. Alright, here we are. I'm about to see where the fuck this takes me. Wait, is this the right direction even? Yeah, this is the right direction. I gotta go across this big bridge. I did use a couple of runes for my inventory so that I could level up my decks one more time because I had a lot of runes. I don't want to lose them. So that means we are completely ready to go see whatever this boss is. I think I'm just going to run directly. Oh, I can't even use Torrent. I'm going to run directly past this guy because I want to see what this boss is. Oh, Somber Smithing Stone 7. Let's just go in. Is it going to cutscene? No, there's no cutscene. Let's use my uh, summon. It's the beast clergyman? Oh, I don't want to hurt you. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay. Okay, so he's got an AoE that I have to be careful for. I feel bad hurting this guy. He was our friend. Well, friend might be a bit of a strong word. Oh! I'm just gonna use my Wondrous Physic Flask. I'm gonna use my FP Flask. Jellyfish is dead. I missed! I missed and got hit! Okay, there's an opportunity- how did he do that? Oh my god. He had his freaking. He had his sword. Oh my god. He had his sword stuck in the ground, and I thought that was a good opportunity to attack. And it was not a good idea at all. Okay, I think that's a good spot to attack. Okay, second phase. Something's about to happen here. Is he gonna take off his hood or something? He's got an amulet on his... On his paw? Does that count as a paw? Oh, wait. What if the beast clergyman is the secret shard bearer? Oh no. Is he the secret shard bearer? The one that we don't know anything about? Oh. He is so cool. He is so cool. I like him. What's his name? Malaketh the Black Blade. <gasps> okay. What happened to my health bar? He like knocked down some of my health like permanently. Oh god. <gasps> oh god again. Oh god times three, four, whatever, however many times I said it. I'm scared. <laughs> okay, this is gonna be a 
challenge. This is gonna be a challenge. Let's go. Whoa! How did he... Okay, now I see how to dodge that move. Ah, shit! Fuck! block that unless I just didn't do it right okay shit oh god oh god attack him. Not that. <laughs> I should have known. As soon as I ran right into that AoE, I was like, there's nothing I can do anymore. I'm gonna use my summon. I was trying to save it for second phase, but I think while I learn his first phase, it's better to just have the summon out. Oh god, okay, I didn't need to just not be near him at all when he stabs his sword down like that. Oh, come on. There's not a lot of great openings, at least from what I've found so far. Jesus. Okay, get away from that. Whoa! I didn't dodge that at the right time. What the fuck? Why did he turn around at that exact goddamn fucking moment? This bitch! time I attack him he has a follow-up attack that hurts me okay he should be phase too soon frustrating fights where you just have to get through the first phase every time as annoying as it is and then um the second phase is just gonna kill you so fast i wonder if my l2 attack is just not a good idea here i feel like it takes too long okay i didn't even think about the fucking aoe there i did a bad I, that still took too long. Fuck me. Okay, I can't see what's happening. Have I ever said how my favorite thing in Elden Ring is the camera? And the lock-on mechanics, it's so, so well designed, so, so wonderful. It really makes it so easy to see everything that's going on, to lock on to your enemy and know 
that you're not gonna die because the camera's just swinging around wildly. Yeah, it's just great. It's great. It's really well done. I don't know why I always do that when he does the AoE and every time I see him like pause for a second and I go in for the attack. It's dumb every single time and I still do it every time anyways. I'm gonna fall off the fucking edge. I lost sight of him. Apparently you can't lock on from the other side of a pillar. It's like a, hold on. I don't wanna be making jokes while I'm in the middle of a fight because it's not gonna go well for me. Basically Elden Ring, the camera has the same amount of object permanence as a toddler. Because if you walk through the pillar, it's like, I can't see it, so it's not there anymore. Like, obviously, if it goes behind something and it's not in your line of view, it doesn't exist anymore, you know? Okay, big attack. He pauses for a moment. Okay. Big shooty attack, he goes over there. Okay, that one I need to... Oh god, okay, that one has an AoE on it. That one also has an AoE. I knew that was gonna be an AoE, but I was already committed to my move. Fuck. I knew that was gonna be a bad idea. Hey, wait. I gotta use my last blast. But it's okay because this is a really good learning round. I really like this fight. I think I'm going to two hand because it doesn't seem like I'm really using my shield that much in this fight. So I think the boost to the damage that I'm going to get from two hand is going to help me a lot here. So we're going to try that out. We're going to see how that goes. Let's hope I don't get hit running through the fog wall. Okay, summon jelly. God damn it. God damn fucking shit. Can you focus on the fucking jellyfish? Oh my god. Why do you only care about me right now? I'm 
Arthur's getting annoyed because I don't want to fight his first phase. His first phase is just fucking annoying. I like his second phase so much, but I don't like his first phase at all. nearly enough flasks for this. I only have three! Okay, I wasted that. Oh, it's gonna... Yep. Oh, shit. <sighs> Fuck me. His second phase, I think, is easier to get into a rhythm, but it's also easier to die if you get caught like, out of that rhythm. I wasn't locked on anymore because I walked behind a fucking pillar. The object permanent. So ridiculous. Of course. I can't see. It's really hard to, like, see what's going on there. I'm not only missing everything, but I'm also getting fucking hit by everything! I thought I was close enough behind the pillar to not get hit by that. God damn. I dodged it too early. Okay. I'm, I'm, yep, the lock-on's gone because he went behind a pillar, which means he doesn't exist anymore. He's not gonna exist anymore again, yep. My dog is spinning my chair and this is the worst fucking time to do that! Why is he so aggressive right now? He's literally so much more aggressive than he's ever been. Okay, he's not gonna exist anymore. And the, the camera won't even lock on again. God, fuck me. Going into second phase with one flask is awful. I just came back to the round table because I wanted to see if I could get a better piece of armor for my head from the finger reader and I didn't even think about the fact that this place would probably be fucked up after I burn the tree. I got a bell bearing and the robe. Oh, is he dead? Oh my god. What have I done? Gideon's still here. Oh, is he gonna be upset with me? You burned the herd tree, didn't you? Maybe. And the round table is soon to follow. Ah, no need to fret about that. Uh, the round table holds served to put a tarnished upon the throne of Elden Lord. And if the herd tree needed to burn for that to happen, then the round table must go as well. Well, I'm I'm glad you don't hate me. I'll stay at the round table for a time. I must learn all that can be taken from this place and sear it into my memory. How could I call myself the all-knowing if I did any less? Okay. Well, I'm glad you don't hate me. What do you have to say about all of this? Take a look around. The round table hold is burned. Raised to the ground. Don't worry. I don't blame you. 
I'll continue spirit tuning just the same as before, which is why I need your help persuading Master Hugh to leave. His roots are so knotted in this place. He won't last much longer if he stays here. His shackles are broken. He's a free man now. It's high time he put the round table behind him. Can I? No, I don't have a grave glove wart six. I will ask Master Hugh to leave. You can go. I freed you. I knew you'd be back. Lay out your arms. Let's get smithing. He said I knew you'd be back. That's very different from what he said before. He was always like, oh, I thought you'd die somewhere. About the god slaying weapon. Yes, I am. My masterpiece to slay a god. That's all I've lived for. And my promise to Queen. And my promise to Queen Marika. He promised something to Queen Marika? Do. do look after the girl. I will look after her, but why are you still here? Listening. As I've always said, you came to challenge the demigods and their god to slay them. And as long as you do, I will always smith your weapons. It is what I wish. To smith a weapon for you to slay a god. Okay, I'll do that for you. Does he have anything else to say about the god slaying weapon? I can't hold on much longer. I'm going the way of the... <laughs> round table. No! It was a great heart. The great honor to smith your weapons during my time here. I love him! Allow me to call, call, call you this just once before it ends. My lord. For, for that is what you are. He's come a long way. Oh my god, I totally forgot I did get that somber ancient dragon smithing stone. I need to get a couple of runes then. Because I should upgrade that. Okay. Bloodhound Fang plus 10 and it just gave me the god slaying armament trophy. I think it was a good idea for me to come back here. I totally fucking forgot that... I had that somber smithing stone, the dragon one. Has this always been open over here? No, this is new, but whoever's in here is dead. I just got his armor. I guess that's somebody I never got to talk to before, but he's dead now. I guess he was a merchant since he had a bell bearing. Is she okay in here? No, she's gone. Holy shit. I didn't even think to come back here and see the state of things, but I'm messed up. Or maybe I didn't, I don't know. What does the uh, finger reader have to say about all this? You've done it, I see. I did. What use do you have for me now? Just wanted to see I what you said. Finger reader. I will remain here until their dialogue ends and the thinkers speak again. Do as you please. Take whatever course seems most worthy to you. Now you may go. Oh, she can't give me any more of the armor? <laughs> You'd force this time oh. <laughs> old crone to work. Even now. Ah. <sighs> Harder taskmaster have I never met. Yeah, let's look at the equipment. I needed, what, like 8,000? I gotta buy Radon's helm and pray that I can wear it. Please, God. No, it's a heavy load. Fuck. I'm just gonna use my fucking runes and try to level up again. All I right, see. so I talked to Hugh for you. Is that right? So Master Hugh won't listen to you either. 
You have my thanks regardless. I'll try and talk him round next time. I know he was given this great entreaty to craft a weapon which could slay a god. Though I can't help but think of it as a curse. A fearsome curse. Put on him by Queen Marika. Yeah, I don't think Queen Marika is a good case, person. I'm not sure there's anything we can do. Maybe Hugh will leave because he got my weapon up to plus 10 now, so you've made that weapon, right? So now it's time for you to go. Okay. I think I'm ready to try again, though. I got Radon's helmet, and I leveled up Endurance a few times in order to make sure I still had a medium load while I had the helmet on. And then I have my weapon to be plus 10 now and i did also grab godric's axe and i think i got that one up to like plus nine so i can test that one out as well and see if maybe that one will do better so i've got two different weapon options i've got a better helmet i think i'm ready to go try again okay jellyfish let's go Getting hit first thing. I knew I couldn't get away from that. I was stuck in the animation. God damn it. Here I am all raring to go and I immediately get destroyed, but I am doing more damage. I am going to go ahead and test out Godric's axe right now. Make sure I'm two-handing it. It doesn't do as much damage as my sword, just because my sword is plus 10. And I don't have another one of those dragon smithing stones in order to get Godric's to plus 10 as well. But I want to see if maybe, like, the F2 attack for Godric's weapon is, like, a little better. Or maybe it would work better against him. I just want to try every fucking option that I have. God, I hate his first phase so much. anything to do with him no this one is not good at all against him godric's godric's axe is not a good idea here one more time. I don't think it worked as well, but I don't want to just give up after one attempt. Yeah, Godric's axe just leaves me too open, and it doesn't do as much damage as I need it to. I, I need my sword, but it was worth a shot, you know? Oh my god, I would have get gotten destroyed by that attack. Okay. I wasn't even looking. Okay. It's gonna AoE, yep. That attack looks like I can kind of get, like, behind it. Okay. Everything about him is just so fast. Oh, but his, uh, his, like, health thing, the thing that, like, decreases my max health, it disappears because it disappeared. I forgot I had this fucking weapon on. I wish I had my sword, god damn it. Shit. Oh, I got stuck. 
stuck in that. That was his big AoE. Okay, let me put my sword back on. I don't want the axe right now. I have nothing to say. I'm in a corner. <gasps> I, oh my God, that was the worst thing. I used a flask instead of my summoning and then I still got hit through the fog wall. This is gonna be a terrible run. Being in this corner is the worst thing that can possibly happen to you in this fight. But I keep getting stuck there. <laughs> I'm just getting frustrated and impatient because I hate like redoing the first phase every time. I just don't really like his first phase that much. I think his second phase is really, really cool. But I'm not getting there often enough. And once I get there, I die so fast. Like, I kind of wish his first phase was more similar to his second phase. Because I just don't really like fighting his first phase. And I keep getting, like, excited to get to the second phase, but half the time now, I'm not even making it there. And if I do make it there, I get killed so fast, and then I'm like, oh, I have to go through the fucking first phase again. I didn't mean to summon in this fucking corner again. I keep getting fucking smacked. Can you leave the corner? Come here. Come over here. We need to come more towards the middle of the fucking arena. Come here, you dumb ass. Come here, yes, that's what I want. Why did that go towards me? Did you see that? He was literally facing the jellyfish and then the attacks went towards me. That makes no sense. That like logically didn't even make sense that the attacks went the opposite direction that he threw them. Like. His sword was facing forward and his attacks went sideways. The game did that like just to be a bitch, even though it made no logical sense. I don't know how I failed to dodge that every motherfucking time. want to fight this first phase anymore. I don't. I sure wish I could see how close I was to the fucking edge. Oh, there's not even an edge there. I thought I was by an edge, but I couldn't tell because you can't use the camera on your own. That, I think, is my least favorite thing about this entire game. The fact that you cannot control the camera on your own in a fight. I don't understand that. I feel like that's a very, very odd choice for a game like this. Where it's so heavily based in like... How perfectly you can dodge certain moves. Like there are some moves that you really have to dodge at the exact right time. And that requires like close attention to when the enemy is actually making that move you have to watch for like some very like exact visual cues in some cases so the fact that like you can't control the camera on your own when you have to look for such specific exact visual cues makes very very little sense to me like, I don't care how good you think your camera might be, which in this case, the camera is fucking terrible, but even if the camera works perfectly as intended, you would think that people who play these games would want to have the option of controlling the camera on their own, because if they get into, like, a certain rhythm, 
they're gonna want to like do it on their own and not just like rely on the game's camera like working properly. It just doesn't make sense for a game like this to not let you control the camera on your own. Oh my god, I almost fucking died there. If his phase two hadn't hit, I would have been dead. Why is it not locked on? I'm gonna go take a little bit of a break and try to refresh my mindset a little bit. Hopefully when I come back, I will have at least a little bit of a better time with this boss. Okay, I took a short little breather. Hopefully, I'm gonna be a little bit calmer. I'm trying to, like, radiate calming waves. I am calm. I can do this. Everything is going to be okay. There's nothing wrong. Definitely nothing wrong. Nothing wrong here at all. Not a giant fucking beast that I can't lock onto. Why that move every time? I know I can like go between it, but somehow like I just never fully manage it right. Oh my God, he learned how to walk around the pillar. That's illegal. Okay, fuck you. Okay, okay, that was a good opening. And he went after Jelly, thank God. Okay, I need to back away. I got through that somehow. He's going after Jelly, so let me hit again. Can I get the R2 as well? Yep, okay, back up. <gasps> Why did I just let myself get hit by that? Okay, he's looking at Jelly again. Oh, shit. I don't know why my R2 didn't go through as the... God, I just don't like this camera angle. I want to tilt it up just a little bit. I think he's framed in the shot badly. And it really bothers me, and I can't fix it. That bothers me. Like, the way that he is framed in the center of the shot bothers me and I'm the type of person that like I am very very particular about certain things everything in my life is like color-coded I am very specific on organization I'm very specific about how I like certain things to be or how I like certain things to look and so with the camera the fact that it's basically like maybe a half an inch lower than I want it to be is enough to really throw me off in this fight. I want the camera to be about a half an inch higher and then it would stop bugging me so much. It just really bothers me that I can't like adjust the camera on my own. It really really bothers me that much. I don't know why I think this is just like one of those neurodivergent things that like the camera being slightly too low is enough to like completely throw me off because it should not get to me as much as it does. Okay, I'm gonna lose the lock on, yep, because I dared go behind a pillar, but he's looking at jellyfish. Oh shit, I somehow completely missed that there was a boulder in that exact spot. I don't know why I tried to do that. Okay, that sweep- okay, I was gonna say that sweep move was a good opening, but it didn't really work that way. God, I wish I could look behind me! 
The fact that I can't turn the camera like a little bit around me to see if there's a pillar or a fucking ledge behind me while I'm locked on is just enough to make me not want to fucking fight this boss anymore. <laughs> Done with this. Okay. I need to just run behind a pillar. I really, really am getting so frustrated by this boss. It makes me not want to fucking continue anymore. Elden Ring is done. No more Elden Ring. <laughs> no more playthrough. I'm done. Okay, second phase. Jesus fucking Christ. Nope, I missed. Okay, I need to study him. Pillar, he's hitting the pillar. I can't lock- okay, there we go. Okay, pillar. I don't know why I said pillar. That's not what I meant to say. Oh my god! Yep, he didn't- I didn't lock on through the pillar. I can't see! 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 I'm shocked I didn't die! I can't see where he is or what's happening! Where the fuck is he? He's over there. Oh my god. Teleporting. I only have one flask left. sword attack goes straight through a fucking pillar. was probably ticking down. Oh, fuck me! It's so hard to get away from that move. She couldn't even take the flask fast enough before that health ticking down killed her. 
she literally was lifting it to her lips as she was fucking dying. Like, girl, if you are dying, you don't think you would be drinking that flask a little fucking faster? She's like, eh, whatever. Like, girl, that ain't your fucking Starbucks on the way to class. That is the flask that would have saved your life. I don't know. I hit that right the first time. I was behind him. I couldn't even dodge that one because she was still in a fucking move. Okay, I knew. I wanted to have full health going into this. I don't know how I missed that every fucking time. Okay, so he can hit fucking every attack of his through that pillar. His only phase was just this. It would be so much better, in my opinion. I don't think I have ever been so mad at a game in my life. Him just throwing me off the edge there just made me realize how fucking awful it is that you can't actually turn the camera around to see where the edge is. <gasps> Can I get another one? Oh, I'm behind this pillar. I believe Jellyfish was still alive there. Where is he? Where is he? Okay, he's over there. Where is he? Get up! I can't lock on him! It wouldn't let me lock on! It wouldn't let me lock on! It wouldn't let me lock on! I don't know where he is. Oh! <gasps> 
to kill him before he had the chance to kill me the fact that that second phase is so quick if you actually can get enough hits off in time whereas the first phase takes so long and is so frustrating i wish that whole fight was just that second phase because that second phase was so cool but it's just a shame that out of all the times that i just spent fighting him i saw the second phase so little both with the amount of times i actually got to the second phase and with how quickly the second phase went by the of death is unbound i just feel like i barely saw that second phase even though it was so cool i wish that whole fight was just that because that was awesome hands between us shrouded by death's dark the flames will also burn the impenetrable thorns so i have that rune of death now and the tree it is then it is fucking burning burn baby burn because i worked so fucking Elden hard yet. to make that happen i will be the elden lord i worked so fucking hard to get that done God, I was so scared in that second phase. I knew if I kept that fight going any longer, I would die because I used like six flasks in the span of, I swear to God, like 30 seconds or less. I was just like, please spam these attacks, please. I just need to kill him before he really gets the chance to do anything. I wasn't even really trying to dodge. I was just trying to spam attacks. And it fucking worked. I cannot believe it fucking worked. God, I'm so happy that he is dead. I am not going to do much more in this episode. It might end up with it being a pretty short episode. Ooh, Lanedale, Ashen Capital. I'm in like an Ashen version of Lanedale. That's really cool. But yeah, I'm not going to go much further today. Because I usually only film for three hours and then obviously the episodes end up being a bit shorter depending on how much I have to edit out especially if there's either a lot of boss fighting because I'm gonna edit out like a lot of the beginning parts of fights if I fight it so many times in a row obviously people don't want to watch the beginning 1600 times so in a lot of boss fight videos they might end up being a lot shorter than those three hours or if there's a lot of exploration where I'm getting lost a lot, or I'm exploring things that might not be very interesting at all, then those videos might end up being a lot shorter than those three hours as well. I don't know why I just felt the need to give an explanation on that, but I did. So this might end up being a little bit of a shorter episode just based on the fact that like, I fought that boss so many times. Obviously you're not gonna wanna see every minute of every fight i'm probably gonna montage like a whole chunk of just how many times i died in a row so yeah i'm sorry if this episode just ends up being kind of short because it actually is already like two hours and 40 minutes that i've been filming i know a big chunk of that in the middle too was spent just with me upgrading things which is obviously gonna get cut out but hopefully you guys don't mind having a bit of a shorter episode because I'm not gonna film for like six hours for one episode. I think three hours is plenty enough even if I only end up getting like an hour of footage out of it. We'll see when I edit what happens. But I'm just so fucking glad to have that boss over and done with. I really wish there was a version of that boss that only had that last phase but just longer i feel like that would have been a lot more fun of a battle for me to fight because i really liked that second phase and it's just such a shame that i didn't get to spend very much time 
in that phase, fighting that phase of him. They went by so quickly every time, and I feel like most of those fights, I didn't even get to the second phase in the first place. Why don't we do another dex? How many can I do? Oh, I can get my dex all the way up to 40. I kind of want that. I don't think I need any more endurance because I have some pretty heavy armor on and I'm still on a medium load. And dex scales better with my weapon. I think vigor is okay at 40 for now, so... Let's hit 40 decks. Let's do it. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. So, let's keep it like that. And, oh. I'm back here because I need to get back up to the tree. Now that it's burning, I can go in. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. I was wondering why I was actually here on the map. But that makes total sense. I have to get to the tree. Wait, where is that ghost that I just saw before and then didn't talk to? Right here. What does he have to say? Behold, the Erd tree yet stands. Tall and unwavering, mindless of the scorch of the flame of ruin. Ha ha, ha ha. Then we are yet golden ones. Okay, well, I don't know if I would consider myself a golden one. But we're gonna make our way to that tree. Uh, what's down there? Death? Hmm. Crimson Amber Medallion plus two? Vastly raises maximum HP. Oh my god, that was worth jumping down here. What is that? That is a crazy thing. Oops, I didn't really want to jump down here with it, that thing. Oh, there's a lot of them. So... I want to get back up to this tree. So, I'm going to I'm going to go teleport back to the side of grace I was just at and let's find out the best way to get to that tree. I know before I think I got to the tree by climbing up the dragon, but I don't think I can actually climb up him anymore if this is the same dragon. Yeah, I can't climb up that. So, I think I'm just going to have to walk towards the city this way and see what happens. Because it would be nice if I could kind of get myself up to the tree and then stop for the day. Because I literally only have like 15 more minutes that I want to record. That is how long that beast clergyman fight took. I don't know if this is the right way. The tree's over there, but I don't know if I can get up to it from there. This might be the best way to go. Yeah, because this is going to take me up. And I want to keep going up. Let's see where this spits me out. Oh, shit. That looks so cool. I love the kind of ready orangey tones. You're not an enemy. Uh, I you'd come Who to are you? The Elden Ring to become Elden oh, it's Gideon! What a sad state of affairs. I commend your spirit, but alas, none shall take the throne. Queen Marika has high hopes for us, that we continue <gasps> to struggle. Oh my god, I hit another boss fight? Yeah, Queen Marika wants us to struggle forever. 
She doesn't want anyone to actually become Elven Lord, and Gideon is helping her do that. You fucking traitor! You fucking traitor! dare you I trusted you Gideon I fucking trusted you oh my god he has so much magic his he's healing his health went up I didn't even notice oh my god that like oh my god it comes back oh my god oh no Okay, well, this is a good spot to leave off the episode. I'm not going to keep... Oh, there's a stake. I'm not going to keep fighting Gideon today because I don't know how long that fight is going to take. And obviously, I have been sitting here fighting the stupid beast clergyman for like two hours. So we're gonna leave it off here today. Next episode is gonna be very exciting, I feel like. I thought that this episode was gonna be super exciting, but I didn't expect to hit a boss that would take just the entire episode. Like literally, this episode is just gonna be Beast Clergyman. I don't even remember what his second phase is called because I barely saw it. But next episode, Hopefully we'll have a bit more exciting stuff to do because we are going to make our way up to that tree and see what happens when we actually get there and try to become Elden Lord because clearly Elden Lord is a scam. Gideon even admitted to it that Queen Marika doesn't actually want anyone to become Elden Lord. She just wants people to think they can become Elden Lord. But really, all they're doing is just suffering for eternity towards a goal that they can never actually accomplish. The Erd Tree will never let them in. And even when I got all of the runes, the great runes needed to become Elden Lord, the Fingers just decided they weren't going to talk anymore. They were like, we're just going to stay quiet while we decide what needs to be done. And that decision might just take the entire span of your life. But if it does, oh well. Sorry. Like, it's literally a scam that they, they don't actually want anyone to ever become Elden Lord. And Gideon even was leading this roundtable with all these people that were aspiring to become Elden Lord. Just fighting and dying for this false hope when he was the one all along that was really working for Marika and knew that you could never actually achieve that goal. Not only that, but if you actually get close enough to that goal like we have by burning the tree, he's going to be there to stop you even though the whole time he acted like he was helping you. So there's all of this stuff put in place to stop people from actually becoming Elden Lord, while at the same time, they try and tell you that, like, becoming Elden Lord is a great honor that, like, you should work your entire life to try and achieve, and that that honor is worth dying for, but it's not actually achievable at all, and they're working so hard to make sure that it never happens. So I can't wait to see what happens when I actually... <laughs> get there and hopefully become Elden Lord because clearly there is some reason why they do not want me or anybody else to actually achieve that title and I want to know why I really want to know why and I really want to actually become Elden Lord to prove all of them wrong and just to say fuck you for standing in my way so Next episode, we are going to fight and defeat Gideon. We are going to make our way to that tree. And we are going to see what is actually going on here behind the scenes. I am really excited to see what's happening. 
I feel like we're gonna get a lot of interesting story developments next episode and I'm sure we're gonna get some challenging bosses as well of course because it's Elden Ring so we're gonna have a very eventful time next time even if this episode was literally just this one boss and I can't wait to see what happens Thank you guys so much for watching. Go ahead and leave a like if you enjoyed it. Check out my Kofi link in the description if you'd like to support the channel. And hit subscribe to become a fledgling and join the clan. I will see you guys on the next episode. Bye!